Hey guys, welcome back to Economics and Comics. This is your top 10 new comics to buy July 20th. I really think you're going to like this video a lot. I really took some time. Some top things got moved around. Uh, and it's very interesting. There's an amazing prize and some news. So uh, stay tuned. Let's go. Okay, before we begin, I wanted to say thank you to everyone that watches. Um, I've been so busy. I mean, it's just, I pack all day and all night, every day. And I do the channel, and Speechless, and everything else. And it's just getting crazy over here. So, thank you for your patience with me. I really hope you enjoy these videos. I make them for you. And... Uh, I want to get right to it. I've read so many books. The only books I couldn't read were from um, Diamond. Um, and there was like two books, okay? But I've read like everything. And my list completely changed uh, through the reads. Because although some were keys, some were a better read. And it's just, I want to, I want to give you that mix an option I've been changing my ways a little bit here yeah there'll be some keys and stuff like that but based on reads and stuff and there are some really good books plus we have an incredible prize today from the Frazetta girls okay specifically Sarah Frazetta is the one I talked to we'll get to that in a minute and so you know I'm gonna have prizes for a couple weeks from them because they sent me a huge care package and when I looked the stuff up, I was amazed. I, I, I couldn't believe it. It's These are great prizes, okay? So thank you so much. We'll get to that in a minute. Let's get straight to cover buys, okay? Uh, just some covers that I like, and most of you are going to be getting them. The Venom Lethal Protector, uh, number four, cover B. I read it. It was boring. Um... Then you got all the Star Wars covers. You got the number 25, Choose Your Destiny. The Vader, Choose Your Destiny, 25. The Han Solo, Choose Your Destiny. Uh, the Chewbacca, uh, 1 in 25 is sick. As well as the Catwoman, 45 Frizen. And I wanted to give a, a special shout out to Sozo, Sozumaki. Dude, the cover is sick. That ratio, 1 in 12. 25 is amazing. Um, that's going to be expensive. I'm sure of it. Um, also, the DC Vampires All Out War number one cover B. Uh, Grim number three, the FOC reveal cover. I love that cover. Um, and Samurai Sonia number two by Lyric Sleet. Now, there's a bunch of other covers and stuff like that, but those are some of my favorites for this week. This top 10 this week is going to be. 10 books okay sometimes I mix it up I put a bunch of number ones and all this stuff and when you see everything you're like wow I can't believe you put this there and that number there I'm gonna explain why okay number 10 I threw in garbage pell kids mad balls the I haven't got these yet the regular ones but this is the ash can one per store I got I love this thing it just brings me back to my childhood type of thing um, I remember by my elementary school in fifth grade, there was a little store down the street you could ride and you, and you go and you could pick them up. Back then it was so much different. I mean, my stepson, he's 19, he hasn't, doesn't even have his license yet. When I was 15, I was on my bike all over the place just doing crazy, or not 15, when I was young. You know, going and getting these and getting in trouble. That was a thing. But I love that. Number 10. Okay? All right. Here we go. Number 9. I don't even know what these are. I put them in order and I slapped them down. So here we go. Number 9. Okay. Spider-Gwen Gwenverse. I love... Uh, this is number 4. I love that Greg Land cover with her. The other cover is great too. David Nakayama. Love him. Uh, but I got to tell you. This is not the first appearance of Iron Gwen. She appeared first full in number three. Um, this, it was kind of boring. Um, it was all over the place. You do see the Captain Marvel, who I think is a Gwen too. That might be her first full. 
And then you see this person at the end. I can't, I got lost when I was reading it, but that could be another one. <laughs> I don't know. They're going to go all team up and fight. That's at number nine. I was going to put this lower, but I decided not to. Where am I putting these? I'll put it right here. All right, number eight. Miles Morales, number 40. Nothing, I think this is decent, but nothing really big happens. They find his uncle, um, they save him, and at the end, they, they fa they're going to face off with this clone, Emperor whatever his name is. So the next issue will be the good one, okay? But this is a great cover, too. That's number eight. All right, number seven, Defenders. Okay, this is kind of just a lead-in story. Um, they tell who's going to be in the team. It's Blue Marvel, T Tigra, Tigra um, America Chavez. Like, Blue Marvel's going to lead it. The female Loki. And uh, what's his name's mom? Um, Galactus's mom, Taya. And, and then at the end, they reveal who they finally get together with the team up. And then they say who they're going to be fighting. And, of course, it's the Beyonder. Spoiler. It was okay, though. It was okay. Number six. Okay. Avengers number 58. They're... I don't know. It's kind of boring. But the new character is why I'm putting it where it's at. Because he was cool. The Ghost Ronin, the Samurai of Vengeance. And you can see him on that cover. He was actually pretty cool, man. Um, so that's why I put it at number five. All right. Or number six. My bad. Number five is the uh, Ten Rings, Shang-Chi and the Ten Rings. The Archim cover specifically. But this was actually a decent story. They... He's trying to hide the Ten Rings from everyone because when he uses them, he feels like he's turning evil. And everyone's after him, after the rings. They all want him. And so there's a new character named Red Cannon introduced. I got to admit, he's weak. He's not that cool. But the story was better. Okay, like the Ghost Vengeance one's pretty cool. But the story was better. Here's this dude... Uh, He's there in the back with his little firearm. I don't know, man. Anyway, he puts on the rings. Whoops ass. And you could tell when he puts them on, he's evil. But it was it was decent. It was a decent read. And there's a first appearance in there, but the cover's sick. Alright. Number four. Iron Man. Number 21. Now, I was on this book. I was kind of complaining about the gorilla issue. I thought it was stupid. But they've introduced a new character named Switchback. I think his name is Switchback. You know, I was wondering, if you've seen that movie Logan? The dude that was hunting him? I thought that dude's name was Switchback. But I don't think it is. I'm pretty sure this is a first appearance, though. Switchback is pretty cool, man. He, he really messes up Iron Man pretty good. It's a decent read. I'm going to show you a picture of him. I'm going to show you here's him sitting. He's kind of like trapped Tony sitting there. But why I picked this, besides it was okay of a read, Switchback was part of the Weapon X program. So there there's, could be more of him in there. Uh, it, you know, in the future, he's probably going to be a pretty good character. Uh, you don't really see anything abnormal like superhuman of him, but he's got... He reminds me of the Winter Soldier. So... You might want to take a look at that. Okay, before we do the top three, and the three are good, let's do the giveaway from the Frazetta Girls. Again, thank you so much, Sarah, for sending all that stuff to me. I really appreciate it. I'm amazed at what you sent me, and um, I want to talk to you in a week about something else because something triggered in my mind when I was thinking about it. Uh, give me a little time, and I'll contact you back. But again, thank you so much. One of you guys is going to win this badass thing. Make sure the only way you're going to win is if you comment something and you're subscribed. Um, you can like. I would love you to like. But we're going to be doing this for a couple weeks now of these giveaways. 
what Sarah sent me was amazing, okay? This is Death Dealer. I have more of these. Death Dealer number two, they're exclusive, virgin. This thing is limited to 600, and these are expensive. So someone's gonna win that right now. I forgot to do the randomizer, so I'm gonna put it right here, right now. All right, K.O. K.O. Hearn, you won, dude. That is a sick win. Make sure to tag at Frazetta Girls on Instagram or Facebook. Tag Economics and Comics. Say congrats or thank you so much to them. Thank you so much, Sarah. And I'm going to be giving these away for the next couple of weeks on this video. So just make sure, again, to subscribe, comment, and all that, and you can win. Thanks again. Okay, let's get to the top three. What do I got? What is this? <laughs> oh, uh, Axe Judgment Day. Avengers, X-Men, Eternals, number one, Judgment Day. Okay, this is actually pretty good. And it's building, and I'm thinking it's going to be really good. Um, if you thought, like, Infinity Gauntlet or all that was good, I think this is going to be better with Uranus. Um, they unleash them for a little bit. And I'm not 100. There's a couple things going on here in this book. But I'm not 100% sure, but they drop him down somewhere. They don't say anything. He kills him, some, takes care of some stuff, and it just basically shows this. He's only there for an hour. They let him out for an hour. And there's a lot of stuff going on. He's holding a skull. He blows it to dust, and I think it was Magneto. I'm not 100%. But, dude, he is a badass, and this book is building... Then they drop um, what they call the Hex. I can't remember if that's real or uh, something that's happened before. Uh, the internals do this message to all humans saying, look, we're going to kill off the mutants and everyone's excited because they're going to kill the mutants. They're variant deviants and they don't belong here. And we as Eternals have always promised to protect you. So, you know, in your South Sea or whatever sea it says, don't worry, uh, it's just uh, the Hex and the Eternal. So they're doing these huge, dropping these huge dudes in the sea. And then they get together and they're like, well, how are we going to defeat these? And they say, well, we have some of the other Eternals come and say, well, we want to help you win. And, and they're, they're like, you have to create a god or something. It's, and they're, where are we going to get that? And they're all, we, they say, uh, we have everything we need. So they're going to probably take over one of these things. I don't know, but... This uh, this axe story is really good, and I expect it to, you know, I mean, this is a huge event. You have mutant event, you have everything in this, and Uranus is just getting started. I'm really excited. Okay, I almost put number two at number one, because I liked it that much. She Bites. This book is funny, guys. It is really good. This, I don't want to spoil it for you. I think you should pick it up. You should go pick one up. Um, you never know. This could. There's been stories and stuff like this before in movies, but this could easily become a, a TV show, not just a movie, like a long-running TV show. Here's the variant cover. Pick it up if you can get it. Um, the one. This is the one in 10. Dude, it is so funny. She's super old, right? She goes to a store. She tries to get cigarettes. They won't let her. So basically, you know, some dudes try to mug her. She kills them. And she puts an ad out for a babysitter. <laughs> because she needs a babysitter to get her to the things she can't get because she looks so young. And uh, the babysitter is actually suicidal. And it's like the perfect match. She tells her she'll pay her like $350 a week. And so the, she's like, okay, I'll do it. It It's really funny. I really like it. And I think you guys will too. That was almost my number one, but it may number two. The only reason this book right here, Black Adam number two, and this cover was number one is because it's a key. It's a good read. I believe that is the first appearance of the new White Adam on the cover because he found his nephew or whatever and he gave him the power. And he says, you're like, basically, you know, Black Adam was bad and he's is on his deathbed, right? And they like, he's like, you're going to take the ring and you're going to say these words and I'm not doing it. And he's like dying on the bed. 
And so this dude that's with him shoots him. So he's dying. And he's like, he had to say it, right? He had to say it to live. And you get the first the first full appearance of White Adam. And Black Adam dies too. And I think that's the first cover appearance too. On this cover, is it F or what cover is this? E. It says Bolt costume, but I think it is. I'm not 100%. I think it is him though because he's in the dark, but you can tell. It looks blue, but it's white. It looks a lot like him. So because of the key factor, Black Adam's like, look, I need you to take the legacy and I need you to do good with it because I did so much bad and stuff like that. Um, I think this is going to be a big book. Not, not huge, but it's the first full appearance of the new, I mean, this is the new guy, right? So I put it in number one, and usually I don't put these type of books at number one for my personal, I mean, I'm a more of a Marvel guy besides Batman, but this is actually really good, and so is this. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, I'm really putting in the time for you. I got to get back to work, pack more stuff, and uh, I wanted to say thanks again to the Frazetta Girls. Thank you so much. That is amazing. And uh, make sure to comment, subscribe, like, and we'll see you guys next week.